Here is an example that is more relevant to swallowing. The submental or suprahyoid muscle group is responsible for pulling the hyoid up and forward. During this time, the thyrohyoid is elevating the larynx. Submental muscle stimulation has an advantage because the muscles in this area all have the same purpose for swallowing. The thyrohyoid, on the other hand, has larger superficial opposing muscles overlying it that will get stimulated first. So let's use the submental muscles as an example here on the right. Let's say we have a patient who swallows with reduced hyoid and laryngeal elevation. The blue arrows represent submental muscles and the red arrow represents the thyrohyoid. If we stimulate only the submental muscles, we might improve hyoid movement, but we might also risk opening the laryngeal vestibule in patients who do not have adequate laryngeal elevation. Here is a non-stimulated swallow in a healthy adult. Here is the stimulated swallow in the same healthy adult using placement 3B. The swallowing safety results showed that the risk of aspiration increased with stimulation. Stimulated swallows were judged to be significantly less safe than non-stimulated swallows. The judges had greater than 80% agreement on each swallowing feature that was rated.